Hey guys, how we doing? Rough rooster knife sharpening. No sharpening tonight, but I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. Um, one thing that that really got me into knives and modifying them and fixing them and, and sharpening them and things like that is when I was little, you know, growing up, I I had a couple knives that people give me, but I didn't have a whole lot of money to to get the good stuff like you know a lot of people were carrying like good cases and bucks I had I had a couple over time but you know I would uh, I would grab one that that I could afford that was fairly interesting and I would try to fix it up the best I can or could and uh, that has carried on with me over the years and it, it's made me um, quite a few good knives and has made me a lot of money I mean I, I obviously haven't gotten rich off of it but um, you know I, I restore knives for people on occasion I haven't done it in a while but I do it for myself um, I'll find one that has potential and I'll, I'll work on it and improve it you know make a few bucks on it sell it give it to somebody whatever it just depends on situation what I'm doing so this one right here obviously isn't in that bad of shape but uh I Angelina got this for me not this past Christmas but the Christmas before and I have carried the shit out of this knife and I've dropped it and dinged it up and there's a couple places on the micarta I want to fix I think I'm thinking about buffing that micarta um making it real slick Kind of like, uh, kind of like that. This one's not really like that, but uh, I'm going to show you guys what I do here and how I fix certain things. Um, you can see right there. I've already done a little bit of work to the end of it, and all I did on you can see some brass right there. I'll show you what I was doing here in just a minute. Um, this little 600 grit smith stone i've used this thing for so much stuff um i just do the the rough parts of just like you know setting a bevel on a knife or a tool you know you do your rougher parts first and then clean it up make sure there isn't any super rough spots or anything and you're going to want to clean your knife after we get done with this. But you can see right there, there's a ding where I dropped it on some concrete. And I know this ain't no super spectac spectacular knife or anything, but it's one of my favorites. And good God, I wish the neighbors would stop slamming the doors up underneath. Y'all probably heard that on the video. But uh, when I got this knife... It was one of Great Eastern's matte finishes. It was never polished to begin with, so we are going to do that. And the brass, how you see it, I can make that shine like a new penny. But uh, this is this is something that that I really like doing, and you know, a lot of people don't take the time to do this, and you know, a lot of people I know they're like, oh, you spend too much time on them things. Well, you know, you pay good money for something, you need to take care of it. Doesn't matter where it's a pocket knife or a car or a pair of shoes or what. Or even if somebody gives something to you, you know, take care of what you got. And this is this is nickel, by the way, so it's not super hard. But this little uh, diamond stone doesn't take a whole whole lot off of it. I'm just trying to get them little dings and pits out of it. And when I get done with this thing, you'll never be able to tell it was done. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. 
that's good. Another thing that bugs me when I'm using this, this main pin right here that supports the back spring and holds that on sticks up on both sides. Great Eastern's usually really good about finishing their knives and, you know, not having anything like that. I started working on this one a little bit. I'm going to just take this down a little bit more here. See how much I'm taking off of it. Right, I'm good with that. Let's just hit this other side. Ain't half as bad. I'm still going to work on it while we're, like I said, while we're doing the rougher part of it here. Now, brass. Obviously, you don't sharpen brass, so you wouldn't put it on your diamond stones. But what I'm doing here, it loads up a, a diamond stone real quick. Because it's so soft. Cut down that scale just a little bit right there. All right, so. You can also do this to your shields too. Like sometimes case is really bad for it. Um, not just their new ones, but I've seen some of their older ones where their shields are cocked up or. Um, I didn't know this till the other night, but that's called a hot dog shield. I can't remember who told me that, but or I read it or something. Probably read it on Google. Okay. So this is my little box from over the years that done little projects like this and I've got little pieces of sandpaper and stuff that just wasn't completely wore out yet so I just decided to throw it in here and keep it so this is let's see okay I don't know what grit that is but it's just coarse enough to start us off here Here's the side that wasn't done. There's the side that I just did. Technically, you could leave it like that and, you know, kind of, I guess, restore the matte finish that was already on it. I don't know how that they do it at Great Eastern, but. And when you're doing this, go one direction. Don't go this way and then this way because. When you start refining it and you start polishing it, it's you'll you'll see little lines going every which way. You want it all uniform going one way. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back spacer of this knife. You guys can see a difference. That's where I didn't do. That's what I just did. I 
It takes all your little nicks and scratches and all that stuff out. Holy crap. I didn't do that. See that uh, brass liner where Great Eastern didn't finish it and it's dinged up? I ain't worried about that too much though. Now this is the part that, that I was really working on with the uh, diamond stone. I know a lot of you guys probably think I'm killing this knife right now, but I'm not. Sorry, I got out of camera view there for a second. All right, so. Well, you can still see just a little bit of a ding right there, but that was a really, really bad ding. I'm just going to leave it like that. There's another spot I touched with a diamond stone. When I do this, that bolster's contoured, so make sure you kind of rock it and go up and down and back and forth. We got our bolsters done there. We got our back done. Now let's do our shield. Kind of grow this whole handle just a little bit. Not much. Try not to hit your blades too awful much.
Now, before you open your blades, kind of do the very tops of your bolsters here. Be careful doing this because if you slide your hand down, that blade's pretty sharp. This one's not. I need to do a sharpener on this. Just do the same thing on the top here. Now we're just going to do, this is 2000 grit, 3M paper, same thing I use on my stones. We'll go over this whole thing with it. Shield. Our ends here, our bolsters. We've got this thing cleaned up and ready to polish for the most part. These pins down here, I'm going to go over them just a little. And when you're working on that pin right there, if you do do this in your knives, don't go too far because, uh, like I said, that's your main on this knife smooth out that my carter just a little bit Alright, those 
two pieces are done. So, got my Dremel, and buddy Alex sent me this a long time ago, and I haven't used it very, very much except for little stuff like this and on my bigger buffer that I've got. Just little felt pads that Dremel makes. All right. Now I turn this on on a lower setting, and then move up till it that crackling and the Dremel kind of goes away. a little bit of green compound on there and just go to work. You can already see. Still that stuff it's pulling off. Maybe you guys a little closer here. You guys can see a difference between this bolster and this bolster. If you're scared of getting your hands dirty, don't do this. <laughs> Now this right here, the bolster that I'm working on right now, was one of the ones that was really dinged up. There was the one that was really dinged up.
go ahead and switch out pads. That one's done. Golly, where are them hard pads coming from? There we go. Some of these are just hard as a rock, and I don't use those. Toss them things. Remember what I was saying about making that brass shine? Get a clean rag here. I'm just wiping it off to show you guys this thing. Needs to be taken to the kitchen sink and scrubbed. And that right there is all you have to do. To bring one back to life and make it look good. Look as good or better as when you bought it new. You can see right here, that was that bolster that was really bad dinged up. There's still a couple little dings in it, but it's all right. But if you guys haven't already, like and subscribe. Uh, leave me some comments down below. Let me tell you what, tell me what you think. You guys have a good evening. Take it easy.